Today I'm going to show you how to set up add-on weapons with Ox inventory using a rifle created by these people. I'll leave links in the description to other helpful things. I hope you enjoyed the video. You should already have the add-on weapon you want, 5M ready, and in your resources. If you don't or you're struggling with that, I left a link in the description to where that process is explained. Once you have that sorted out, go to where the weapon is installed and find the name. It should be in a file called clweaponnames.lua. So I'll go ahead and open it up. And the name for this weapon is weapon underscore Russian sniper. Once you have the weapon name, go to the aux inventory folder. Go into the data folder and open the weapons.lua. Now you need to create the weapon in the weapons section. The weapon I'm using is a lore friendly SVD, so I'm going to use the sniper rifle weapon as a template. I copy to avoid making errors typing all out myself, and it's easier. You can do it with anything that's already in here and change it to your liking. So I'll go ahead and search for the sniper. Then copy it and paste it again under it and start renaming the information. The weapon name goes in the brackets, so I'll change this to Russian Sniper. The label is what shows in the inventory. And you can adjust the weight, durability, and the ammo. The ammo is in this file as well all the way at the bottom, so change it to what fits or add your own. Next are the attachments if the weapon you added has them. The attachments are in the components section, still in the same file, so I'll scroll down. The attachments are separated based on what they are and what they're used for, so using the suppressors as an example, if you're adding an AR or sniper, add the component under the suppressor heavy, not the light. To find the attachments for the weapon, go back to where it's installed. And there could be a weapon components.meta, if there isn't just open the weapons.meta. This weapon has quite a few attachments, I'm just going to add the scope. So I use Ctrl and F and search for a component. And cycle through. And there's the scope there. Once you find the name for the attachment, copy it. And go back to the weapons.lua. Since this is a scope, I'll scroll to where all the scopes are. And add it under the large scope. So add a comma after this one, hit enter and paste what I copied. Then you need to add the back ticks. You can go through and keep adding attachments if there are more and it isn't already on the list. The next thing is adding an image for the weapon. I have it on my desktop here. Make sure the name of the image and the name of the weapon match. Then go to the aux inventory folder. into the web folder, and into images, and add it in. That's all you need to do, so start your server and test it out. If this video was helpful, consider supporting my work by ordering a VPS or transferring your current one of one of one service using the link below. Created by the team behind Project Sloth, one of one service is a top VPS provider for popular 5M servers delivering unmatched uptime and performance. They offer the best DDoS protection, super fast 10 gigabit per second internet speed, and exceptional support via Discord and tickets with 96% of tickets answered in under 30 minutes. With locations in Dallas, Ashburn, Chicago, and Europe, they ensure low latency and top tier reliability. All right, so I have it in my inventory. I'll go ahead and pull it out. And that's how it looks. So I'll go ahead and add the attachment starting with the scope. And the suppressor. And then the extended mag. Right, and everything is lined up. That'll be all for this video. If you enjoyed it and it helped you out, please leave a like and a sub. If you need help or have any suggestions, feel free to comment down below or join my Discord. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching.